that could be a red flag if the amp, if the amp draw was high. All right, George, I'm going through the checklist here. What's the first thing? Is the compressor? When we go to the unit, we're going to put the gauges on the system. We're going to see what the pressures are, what the compressor's doing. We're going to take the amp draw of the compressor, um, see where the suction and the discharge pressure is at. And we're going to compare the amp draw of the compressor based on what the manufacturer of the unit says it should be uh, operating at. All right, hold on just a minute now. Explain that to old layman like me that uh, maybe I understand what you're saying, maybe I don't, but how about the homeowner? What are you saying? Is it amp draw on the unit or? The compressor and the fan motor uh, operates. Um, it, it takes voltage and it has windings in, inside the motors that create a resistance and you have a amp draw. Well, that's high tech stuff there. It, it is, and, but all it boils down to is if, if the compressor is pulling high amps, then something's wrong, so you, you, you go looking to see what's going on. So that could be a red flag if the amp, if the amp draw is high. If the amp draw is high, it could be a red flag, something's going on. 